hello welcome back to the cloud wallet here in this video we are going to uh, see how to send email alert by using flow so uh, first let's uh, start with this video. before starting this video let's uh, consider a scenario we will uh, send email alert once uh, lead get generated here in the uh, sales force so our scenario is once lead get generated from website we will send the uh, thank you email notification to that uh, email so let's start First step, uh, we have to go to the setup. From uh, just go to the setup, and from setup, here you type the email alert. Was first uh, to send the email. First, we'll create the email alert over here in the Cisco, and then we'll use that email alert in uh, in the flow. So let's type email alert. Select this email alert option uh, under workflow and actions. Here you have to click on new email alert. Just give the description. So I'll do thank you email to lead or to new inquiries. Inquiries. Okay. Now uh, object we have to select as we have decided to send uh, this email on lead. So I'll select lead object over here. Again you have to select the email template. So just click on this uh, icon and will be able to see all the email templates over here now uh, you select the appropriate email template now what i'll do i have created one uh, testing template so i'll select that so here you can see sample uh, thank for inquiry so this template i'll select now a recipient type we have to select so whom you need to send the email alert so these are the different options available whether we need to send it to the creator okay if you select creator that means owner will get the whoever created that record he will receive the notification likewise we have multiple option okay so but now we have decided to send the uh, notification to that person whoever is creating the inquiry so how we can send we are we will know the email feed, email id of that person in the email feed so we will select email ID, email field over here and we will select the lead email okay this field is available on lead object now uh, here in the additional emails we can specify the email ids whom we want to keep in the cc so for an example what i'll do i'll uh, keep my email id on cc 8012 at gmail.com okay this is this email id i have kept in cc so email will be sent to this email id this email ID, lead email id so lead email id will be in two and my email id will be in cc okay now next option we have to select from which email id you are going to from which email id we need to send this email okay whether you need to send this from uh, current user's email id or specific email id right, right now here you can see cloud Valley email id is the org wide email address which we have added in this org so we can send from this email id as well as current user's email id so let's make that uh, we'll send it from the current user's email id okay so this is how we have to create the email alert and just click on save once your email alert is ready now we have to create the flow so just uh, we need we have to remember this name unique name for the email alert now we'll go go to the flow just go to the flow and click on flows here you have to click on new flow to create new now okay so as we are going to send this email alert on the uh, creation of lead so what we'll do we'll uh, select the record triggered flow okay and we'll click on create once we uh, click on create now this screen will be uh, will be visible to you here on this screen we have to select the object on which object we need to send the alert so now uh, we need to select send on lead so i'll select lead object over here okay next uh, when we need to send the email whether it's on creation or updation so our scenario is to send notification creation so i'll select the first option if you need to send it on the update then you can select other second option and if you want on the create as well as update then you can select on the third option okay last option is on deleted so is there any entry criteria uh, we need to specify for that email alert yes we specify one entry criteria so which entry criteria will specify if 
lead source will together lead source equals web then only we'll send this email thank you email okay so this condition we can add you can add multiple condition if you want to uh, if you have multiple conditions over here if you are uh, to add another condition you just click on add condition and here you have to specify the condition like now you can see uh, this uh, now what will happen if both conditions get satisfied then only uh, system will say uh, execute the logic okay or execute this flow but if you want to uh, execute only on one condition that also uh, we can do it uh, we just have to select the or condition over here so what will happen in case of or if any one condition get satisfied system will send an email so for now we have only one condition so i'll remove the second row okay and now we'll save this just give flow name as thank you email alert to lead okay so you can give any name make sure that this api enable is unique now save this okay now we have done with the first step we have created flow now uh, second what we need to do we have to add the actions so what is our action here in this uh, action what we need to we need to send the email alert so just click on this add element and here you just type email alert just select first option send email alert okay click on send email alert and here you have to select the email alerts now select the email alert which we have created so our email alert was thank you email to the new inquiry so this was email alert which we have created so select that email alert give us the name send email okay so i'm giving a short name and now we have to select the record id to way which lead we need to send the email alert so here what we, you can do you can select the current record so how to get the current record so here in this uh, record dot id you will get the current record id okay so select the record dot id this lead id okay and click on done now simple what we have done first step we have selected object then we have selected event then we mentioned the uh, specify the condition okay and once this condition gets satisfied system will execute this uh, second action which is a send email okay now we'll save this flow Con save and activate. Let's activate this. Okay, now flow got activated. Now, how to test this? Let's go to the lead over here and create new lead. Let's select direct lead. Okay, first name, last name company let's add cloud wallet now we have to specify the email so what i'll do i'll select this email id okay and we'll open my email site tab okay now you can see uh, i have added my email id and one more thing we have to select is the source because we have added the uh, condition on the source so let's select source as a web okay is there any other mandatory field no so what we can do we can save this lead now once we save this lead system will execute the flow and it will send the email alert let's save this duplicate record found i think i have duplicate rec uh, rule uh, enabled on my email id so let me do one thing let me deactivate duplicate rule first duplicate rules on lead this is not active okay. now what uh, i have done i have uh, removed the duplicate rule so let's try it again click on save 
mobile phone i have to enter okay let's enter 8454921714 and click on save okay lead got created now uh, what we can do we can go ahead and check the email that i received email so here you can see i have received email this is thank you thank you for inquiry and i got this email dear amol thank you for inquiry and get a sales team will get back to you so this is how we can uh, send the email notification to the lead and whatever email id we have added on the cc that will be visible over here so two email id is the lead email okay and cc also will be visible so this is how we can create the flow to send the email notification